Greetings and salutations, everyone, and welcome back to Let's Play Had a Fool Boyfriend! I'm Cabjack Fisco. Come join me for. What the hell am I playing? Alright, ladies and gents, we're back into How to Full Boyfriend. This time, Yuya, brother of Shirogane. Oh boy, are we ready for this? Sure, why not? Now that I have that out of the way, I think I'll head back to class. Wait, isn't that... You should have been instructed not to approach me in school! Come on, Sakuya, what kind of thing is that to say to your own brother after all these years? My brother! You must be joking! You have never once been a brother to me! Please, do not uh, talk to me again! I have no time for half-breeds! I will be going now! Hey, just wait it. I guess even if we're in the same school now, what's done is done. I had meant to eavesdrop, but I think I just overheard something juicy. The ever-popular trendsetters and ladies' man... Saku... Uh, Saka... <laughs> I can get the name right. Sakazaki Yuya is Sakuya's brother? I wonder what the story is behind... Behind that is. I wonder what the story behind that is. I... Fuck it. Moving on. Hey! Hmm? You heard the whole thing, right? Are you a friend of Sakuya's? Ah, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to listen in on you. Haha, <laughs> no sweat. I tried to stay sexy and suave in front of all you little ladies, but that there wasn't too cool. Yuya Sakazaki. His fantail patient is Sakazaki Yuya, an upperclassman. I've never talked to him before, but he's famous or infamous throughout school. Everybody knows of him. You're Cam Jack, right? How did you know? I know everybody here. Besides, you're the only human. A single puppy in a field of rye. Did you say you were a friend of Sakuya's? Not exactly. We had a rather ballistic introduction this morning. We're in the same class, that's all. I've never thought that a stuck-up aristocrat wannabe was your brother. Aristocrat wannabe? He is an aristocrat, actually. The genuine article, in the flesh. He is? He's a bit of a pain, so good luck, wannabe. Adieu. That is just so... That, that's a jacked up French accent, even for... Compared to... Sure, got it. He really is a noble bird. I've never heard of anything like that about you, though. Probably a twisty business. And of course, since it directly correlates to this story arc, we have to do... Shoo. Because we are at some point going to save Yuya's life instead of letting him die this time. Excuse me. Nobody's here. There's no one sleeping behind the curtain, and the doctor isn't here either. My well, hunter-gatherer instinct feels no presence. No, there's no birdie here. No birdie here. Ryuta? No reply. The infirmary is empty. Weird. Did you go home already? I feel a little bit nervous. A little nervous poking around in an empty room. Now that I think of it, I haven't been in here much before. Unlike Ryuta, I'm perfectly healthy. Whoa, they've got all kinds of drugs in here. Ethylpar, Trife, Lucio, Benzene. What do these even do? Care to find out? Doctor! I'll feed you all sorts of things if you want. Hmm? No, thank you! Shu Iwamane. The partridge is Iwamane Shu, the school doctor. He's rather creepy in person and has a bad reputation among the student body. Everybody knows that even just talking to him can bring you down with Asperger's, psychosis, or even worse. Than I don't think that's how the diseases work, lady. And I never even heard him come to the door. Ninja doctor? You don't look like you have a good reason to be in here. Did you need something? Um, I heard Ryuta Kawara from 2-3 was supposed to be in here. Him? He's... already gone. Oh. Why didn't he come and find me before going home? Sorry to bother you. I'll be going now. Ah! Finally out of that den of evil. Rudy's already going home. What do I do now? Oh. I never got around to joining a club last year. Maybe I'll go take a look at some of my options. I think it'll be a club for baseball, soccer, track, kendo, migration, bird watching. 
All right, we got to pick a club. And since we already know the plot arc that parallels Yuya because of having done Dr. Shu, we know to go to the infirmary. Join the infirmary staff. Today's an elected day. What should I do? Let's see. Yuya is pretty smart and suave, so I'm I'm gonna go with math. If we're wrong, I can go back and go with music, because that'll give us charisma and intelligence. But I'm pretty sure it just from what we saw the arc, it seems like we kind of want to set him straight. So it would probably help if we're smarter than he is. Although we don't know how smart he is, but you know what I mean. Oh, I'm supposed to help in the infirmary today. I shouldn't keep him wa waiting. Better hurry. Salutations, Kamchak. Yuya? What's wrong? Are you hurt? So sweet of you to worry about me, but no, I am second in command here. You are? I never would have guessed it. I couldn't be happier, mon ami. Mystery is the most powerful of aphrodisiacs. Wow, dude, just, just chill. Anyway, our job as staff is to check the medicines and clean up in here. Normally, I'd do that. But today I've got some stuff I need to take care of, so could you handle this mess for me? Of course. My thanks, Kamchak. Oh, and don't touch the desk. It's doctor's personal area. I'll take you somewhere nice in return. Adieu. That really is a horrible French accent, even compared to Sheridan. I think. Yuya flutters out the door. Did he just ask me out? Anyway, cleaning. Some of these drugs are a little weird, no matter how you look at it. Is this really an infirmary? You know it's not, girl. Sorry, you don't know that. That's a different timeline. Feels more like a human or other avian air experimentation room. You don't know how right you are. Huh? The desk drawer is open. There are files sticking out. I think it was neat when I was in here last time. Or in here last. Maybe the doctor's a little careless about tidying up. He did say not to go anywhere near the desk, but I think I'll... No, hell no, we're not touching the desk this time. Hell no. I'm a little curious, but he did say not to go near the desk. Better to leave it alone. The doctor might show up and turn me into a Kamchak salami. Exactly. Okay. Today is the hike. We stop on a break for a break on the hillside. Who should I talk to? Talk to Yuya. Wait, Yuya's not here. Um, well, we know from the past, if you want to err on the side of caution, you talk to the teacher if the person you want to talk to is not here. Because that way, at least, you avoid starting any other arc. Hmm. What is it, Fisco? Break isn't over yet. Um, I want to talk to you, sir. Your friends are all here. Why not talk to them? Do you not want to talk to me? No, that's not what I meant. You're a funny girl, Fisco. Wait, no, I haven't said anything yet. And so I took a nap with Mr. Nanaki. I wonder if he has some sort of illness. I hope he's okay. Yeah, I imagine you're all well aware, but the sports festival is right around the corner. Please think about what you'll do. Sports festival season already. If it were in the fall, it would conflict with the culture festival, so it's always been a myth. What are you going to do, Rita? I haven't decided, but probably the three-legged race. Some birdie has to. Cool. The sun! We'll handle the marathon! <laughs> You do have a lot of stamina, okay, son. What about you, Sakuya? You can't possibly be expecting me to run in some race, can you? It's a sports festival. Is there any event that doesn't involve running? How about being a cheerleader? The general, in other words. Very well. Give it to me. Um, I don't think that's... Also, the first aid team is always short-handed, so I'm sure you, you, they could use the help if anybody still can't decide. We know you is going to be at the medical tents. That's all for today. So we know which one to pick. Rita's doing the three-legged race. Okasan's running the marathon. And Sakuya's a cheerleader. Yuya might be running the first aid tent. Oh, that tells us anyway. What should I do? I'll have to think about it. Well, we already know which way we're going to go. Today is the sports festival. I never did make up my mind. What should I do? Go to the... First aid tent. Salutations! Did you come to gaze in my eyes, mon ami? Um, I heard the first aid team was short-handed. Salutations? Hey, I say that! Shut up! Alas, spurn for the sake of medicine. I must work harder to prove my love. Anyway, happy to have you. As you can see, we still have plenty of work to do. Ah, the obstacle course does always hurt a lot of birds. 
Why is the game designed for humans? Beyond me, mon ami. I suppose it's tradition. Where's the doctor? Shouldn't he be here too? Over there! He's resting in the shade of a tree, some distance away. Looks like he's taking notes of the performance of the birds on the racetrack. What's he doing over there? He doesn't want to ruin his girlish complexion working in the heat. He does the same thing every year. Is he taking notes on something? A lot of birds graduating from the school get scattered by pro sports teams. So maybe he's checking up on the promising ones. I don't think so. Uh oh, they've started. We'll be busy soon. Get ready, mon ami. Yes, sir. So I spent the four sports... <laughs> that was great. I spent the sports festival patching up damage dealt with Yuya. I learned some first aid from him, so it was time well spent, I think. Hmm, today's a good day. I feel like I'm shining. I wonder what I should do during break. Go to the... We know we run into Yuya at the store, because we found that in the past, so go to the store. I don't really need anything, but I think I'll go to the store. I've never really looked around there before. Wow, they've got all sorts of things for sale. Though these desk building materials look like what you find in a human store's trash. My, how mature of you, mon ami. Planning to settle down already? Yuya? No, that's not it. I'm still a high school student. But maybe so. But you know, we jobs reach sexual maturity within a year of birth. They do? That seems a little hasty. Uh, that aside, what are you doing? What are you here to buy, Yuya? Your love, of course. My... Yuya, that's... We're not... I'm not good enough? Oh, well, I'll have to try again later. Is this how he talks to every girl he meets? I think that's a little rude. Let's straighten him out. I think it's a little rude, Yuya. What is? That sort of loose talk, like I'm a game or something. You know, that's the first time a girl has ever said that to me. I'm surprised. Thank you, mon ami. I'll carry this warning in my pigeon heart forever. Had you. Well, hopefully that'll change his behavior in the future, but we really don't know. We've never... Well, we've not straightened him out, but we didn't follow the dark, so we don't know what happens. Today is Tanabata. There's a probable... Uh, there... There's probably a bamboo tree in this plaza, in the plaza that... It's many times since I've played this, you think I know how to read this shit now. <laughs> in the plaza this year, too. I think I'll go make a wish. Horrible at the reading. Wow, there's lots here already. Any birdie I know? Can you hear the song of the stars above? May they send you happiness, mon ami. Yuya. Th thanks, Yuya. And of course, Noneki, because we talked to him. Morning conference on the 10th. Be 30 minutes early, buy another alarm clock. May I wake up on time, Neneki? Wednesday is garbage day, remember. What should I wish for? Let's see, it's Yuya, so I would say... Probably artist. I'm guessing. I wish to become a famous artist whose work is known the world over! Oh dear, this was the art that turned Yuya into a cooked bird. We could finally avert that timeline. Cleaning the classroom took longer than usual. I need to hurry to the infirmary. Cam check. What is it? I'm in a bit of a hurry. Nothing much. Just, have you heard of the Seven Mysteries of St. Pidgey Nations, Cam check? The school, even has, the school even has its own horror stories? Do tell. Yeah, well, there's one that says sometimes students will disappear in the infirmary only to show up again as food in the dining hall and cool pens in the school, school store. Oh, we know that one's fucking true. Sounds like an urban legend to me. It's not. It does, but... Dr. Iwamane is pretty suspicious. Be careful, okay? You go to the infirmary a lot, right? Has he ever done anything to you? No, but... Well, you're a girl, Kamchak. I'm a little worried. Um, thank you, and on the same note, that's not thinking highly of me. Just saying. That's true. I'll be careful. Ryuta has always been one to overthink things. Anyway, can't keep you here waiting. My personal thanks to each and every one of you for tuning in. You all are awesome viewers. I really appreciate you taking the time to watch my videos. It means a lot to me, and I do hope you enjoy them. So you all take care of yourselves, and if you want to see more of me, queue up with the video on the list, or we'll stay tuned for more. Feel free to leave a comment below, and please remember to take that like button if you enjoyed the video. In the meantime, fare thee well, everybody.